The film industry certainly hasn't done the Piranha any favours, where their image is concerned. In the 1989 cult classic Piranha, a pack of flesh-eating prowlers escapes a failed military mission to feast on swimmers in a nearby lake. The 2010 remake wasn't much better, only to give the world a 3D version of prehistoric piranhas who devour unsuspecting victims on the big screen. Throughout time, these surly swimmers have had a spineless reputation, an all-round savage stereotype. But are piranhas really all that bad? Renowned for their painfully sharp teeth and powerful jaws, these creatures belong to the freshwater family of fish known as Caracidae, and can be found in lakes, rivers, and reservoirs of South America. Piranhas are described as extremely predatory, predominantly known to feast on other fish, yet their diets vary extensively. Since many are known to incorporate plants into their feeding routine, this species is typically classified as omnivorous. Scientists find the 60 species of piranha somewhat perplexing, as the vast differences in class, colour, diet, and teeth make these naughty navigators hard to tell apart. The lack of understanding lends a mysterious aspect to these fascinating fish, and while they're not cute nor cuddly, their fearsome reputation may be misunderstood. Here are 13 interesting facts about piranhas. Thirteen, Piranhas go back millions of years Scientists and early pioneers render accounts from the piranha species dating back to the 16th century. There's even artwork from 1856 by the French explorer Francis de Castelnau, who depicts a beautiful sketch of a red-bellied piranha bearing bold hues of red, yellow, and blue. Before that, though, fossil records put piranha ancestors on the map 25 million years ago with modern species dating back about 1.8 million years. According to a study in 2007, researchers found that the tough guys we encounter today derived from a common ancestor 9 million years ago, when glaciers from the first ice age began to rapidly melt and caused the Atlantic Ocean to rise. Waters flooded the expansive Amazon and South American rivers seen snaking around countries such as Venezuela, Brazil, and Argentina. The new, highly salted situation would have been intolerable for the freshwater fish, so they found a way to escape upriver in search of higher altitudes. Studies indicate that piranhas inhabiting above 100 meters in the Amazon area are about 3 million years old. 12. Piranhas as Pets Ever seen the film Finding Nemo? Piranhas can't be that predatory if they live in nice homes and are vulnerable to deviants like Darla the fish killer, yet piranhas attract this specific type of pet lover. Those who understand their pet's capability to bite through bone and remove a finger entirely. If a piranha admirer stuck their hand underwater with the slightest cut or scent of blood, the feisty fish will flock to the wound. While these pesky pets are generally easy to care for, a 100-gallon tank suits one piranha, with 20 gallons added for every like species after. They can easily grow to 16 inches long and may live up to 20 years. Due to these numbers alone, Piranha owners are well known to dump their precious pets into the nearest lake when they grow too large. The result of this action has caused the species to shamelessly show up in waterways spanning the globe from Great Britain to Texas to China. For the owners who do hold on to their freshwater fighters, the longevity of this lifespan alone requires a lot of commitment. Piranhas make very interesting pets, with their sharp teeth and ferocious attack skills, and while the surly swimmers will leave other fish alone if hungry for too long, they won't hesitate to make their tank mate dinner. Pet owners must be careful to feed these fiendish fish often, or else… 11. Some are vegetarians Not all piranhas seek flesh and blood. Some species of piranha are omnivorous, feasting off seeds rather than meat, with some seeking satisfaction through plant-based sources alone. In fact, piranha owners will see the occasional nibble taken out of any plant life inhabiting the tank with their playful pet. In the Amazonian rapids of Para, Brazil, researchers have found that a species of piranha, known as Temetes camunai, survives solely of riverweed alone. 10. We eat them too. When in doubt, dine on a delicious bowl of piranha soup. The tasty razor-toothed fish is a popular delicacy made into soup and other delights by grilling and frying them. Extremely popular in certain regions of Brazil, 
The dish is served on banana leaf with garnishes of ripe tomato and fresh lime. Some who have eaten in restaurants with the intent of critiquing such an experience, however, report the freshwater critter to smell foul and taste fishy. With one taste of cautioning, think fishy, as in a salmon left five days in the sun fishy. Others delight in eating the delicacy whole, as the presentation renders jagged mouth agape whilst staring right back at its opposer. Yet it seems certainly appropriate for a diner to feast off a fish that allegedly eats people. The most common dined on variety is the red-bellied piranha, found in the Peruvian and Brazilian waters swimming close to shore. In some parts of the Amazon, eating a piranha is highly taboo and a common cultural no-no when it comes to eating predatory species. Others swear the tiny attackers to be a powerful aphrodisiac following consumption. 9. Piranhas – More Predator or Prey Another fact to aid in the exploitation of piranhas as predators are that they only stick to giant pacts or shoals. The most well-known of the pact-hunting species are the red-bellied piranhas, yet these groups stick together not for strength but for safety. While their technique may seem smart and advantageous, since larger groups can take on bigger sources of food, the shoals swim this way out of pure fear. Piranhas are by no means at the peak of the food chain. These freshwater swimmers are prey to the large variety of predators, such as crocodiles, birds, river dolphins, and other pescatarian fish. The shoals then swim as one and work to display the larger older fish in the center of the pact farther in from harm with the younger, more agile fish protecting the outer edges. In this way, the shoal really does seem to function for reasons of safety. In a study from 2005, researchers discovered the formation of the pacts left the species breathing better and responding to simulated attacks in a more strategic manner. The shallower the waters, the larger the shoal to protect the vulnerable piranha clans from invasion. 8. Their attraction is threefold. Noise, splashing, and blood. When we spend a warm day cooling off in the placid water of a river or basin, we don't often think about the curious swimmers surrounding us. Yet a study in 2007 linked three instances of human attacks by piranhas in Suriname, South America. Each advance was provoked by three factors – commotion, such as noise and splashing, as well as the spilling of food, fish, or blood into the river. Since this fish species are attuned to catch the sound of fruits and nuts falling from trees and smacking the water's surface, they associate splashing children as the same noise associated with food. When it comes to blood, game over. A piranha can sense a drop of blood in a 200-litre area of water. As they tend to hunt the weak and wounded, sudden commotion like splashing and movement attracts them just as it would a shark. So be forewarned. A calm swim in the Amazon may turn vicious if anyone is bleeding or has a rowdy child along for the ride. 7. Piranhas Bark Through years of observational research, including underwater sound recordings, scientists have since determined that piranhas can bark. Much like that of a dog, when caught by a fisherman in particular, the red-bellied variety is known to utter a sharp, bark-like cry from deep down within. A team of Belgian scientists later discovered that piranhas make three distinct types of vocalization, depending on the nature of their situation. When in a stare-down with an enemy opponent, a piranha will utter sudden barking sounds in a message that seems to warn the challenger to back off. The action of encircling and fighting another fish will emanate low grunts or thudding barks, which have led researchers to deem this sort of threat direct and forthcoming. In a third and final utterance, should the foe refuse to back down, the piranha will gnash its ravenous teeth together and chase its rival to the death. These noises are emitted using the fish's swim bladder, where a gas-containing organ helps the animal afloat. When they contract and relax these muscles, a succession of noise to either welcome or ward off predators ensue. 6. Piranha teeth are replaceable In the Brazilian language of Tupi, piranha is a direct translation of the term toothfish. Makes sense, as these precarious packed swimmers are renowned for their jagged, razor-sharp teeth and relentless grip. While adults only have a single layer of interlocking choppers along their jawline, true piranhas exhibit tricuspid teeth, which render a pronounced middle cuspid, or crown, that is about 4 mm tall. Their tooth enamel structure is like that of a shark, in that it resembles a blade and is completely suitable for a diet used to tearing apart meat and muscle. Interestingly though, piranhas are known to lose several teeth throughout the span of their lives. 
As shark teeth are replaced one by one, piranhas receive their new teeth in quarters throughout multiple spurts of their lifetime. Typical life for a piranha can extend up to eight years in the wild, so if one encounters one of these feisty fish with half of its lower teeth missing, it's not old, it's just a ferocious fighter. 5. What's worse, their bark or their bite? Piranhas are known for their forceful nature, but their biting ability. In a 2012 study by Scientific Reports, an online journal covering natural sciences, researchers found that the largest modern species, the black or red-eye piranha, can bite with a maximum force of 72 pounds. That is an astonishing three times the size of their own weight. Since we know that piranhas have an ancestor dating back 10 million years, scientists were able to use a tooth fossil model. With this, the prehistoric piranha was seen to have a jaw-tip bite force of as high as 1,068 pounds. To compare, when this order of species was alive, it weighed roughly 22 pounds, rendering its bite force 50 times the animal's weight. While it's unclear what the diet consisted of for this ancient animal, a terrifying set of teeth and tremendous strength was certainly required to chomp away at whatever the meal of choice was. When modern piranhas hunt today, they aim solely for the tail and eyes to immobilize their prey. In a 1972 study involving red-bellied piranhas with a group of goldfish, the cuties were ravaged only in place of their eyes and tails. Researchers understood that their teeth are vital to the species' survival, whether it be through force to claim food as theirs or halt their adversaries from attack. 4. Don't mess with them or their eggs While piranhas carry the crazy reputation for attacking humans, there has only been the few cases in which other factors provoked the predator within. In the same instance of grizzly bears, wolves, sharks and other large animals with teeth, piranhas will mind their manners if they're left alone. Of the most aggressive species of piranha, the black and red-bellied variety take the bait for the most vicious. While these two are considered the most dangerous and antagonistic towards humans, South American swimmers typically emerge from piranha-infested waters without harm. The real danger is known to present itself if the water levels fall particularly low, food sources are scarce, or if a swimmer happens to disturb a nest of eggs buried in the riverbed. If a piranha feels threatened or famished, they pose an aggressive threat to anyone swimming near. When it comes to fishermen untangling a wriggling piranha from a net or hook, one should be wary. If a piranha bites, it need only bite once, and will typically go straight for the toes or feet. 3. Piranhas are cannibals For piranhas, a typical diet consists of insects, fish, crustaceans, worms, carrion, seeds, and other plant material. These fickle fish, however, are known to take a hefty bite out of a fellow piranha, independent of whether it's living or dead. As red-bellied piranhas are known to consume about 2.46 grams per day, which is one-eighth of its average body mass, low resources and high competition result in the shameless swimmer to take a bite out of whatever it can get. Even stranger is a variety known as wimple piranhas, who fed on fish scales containing a protein mucus that is very nutritious for the fish. So while crustaceans, bugs, and other scavenged for scraps consist of a large portion of their meals, what a piranha will gnaw on shifts, depending on their age and the known available food sources. 2. Preying on humans and capybaras after they're dead Piranhas have the fierce reputation of tearing large mammals to shreds, yet the truth is, piranhas only prey on large animals after they're already dead. While a teeming pack of piranhas is certainly capable of stripping the flesh from a 180-pound human in five minutes' time, this feat would require the work of 300 to 500 extremely famished fish. In the case of heart attack or stroke and the afflicted drowning in a South American body of water, evidence proved markings from tiny piranha nibbles. Yet again, the victim was already gone by the time the piranhas sought out their snack. Another myth of the mammal-eating predator is owed to the internet and some bizarre footage of piranhas taking down a whole capybara. Capybaras are considered the largest rodents in the world and are often found wading along the banks of South American water sources. While piranhas have been known to munch on these furry foes, it's typically when the rodent is already dead or gravely injured and left bleeding behind in shallow waters. Some food for thought, don't die in the waters of South America and you won't become piranha fish food. One. Where the myth began. Teddy Roosevelt was well-traveled, well-spoken, and highly admired. 
So when his tell-all bestseller, Through the Brazilian Wilderness, spoke of a vicious pack of piranhas consuming a cow carcass in minutes, the world listened. In 1913, Roosevelt toured South America, and among his many exotic encounters, the eyewitness accounts of several species of piranha found fans fascinated. In his book, the author writes, they are the most ferocious fish in the world. They will snap a finger off a hand incautiously trailed in the water. They mutilate swimmers. In every river town in Paraguay, there are men who have been thus mutilated. They will rend and devour alive any wounded man or beast, for blood in the water excites them to madness. This account, and this alone, was what gave the piranha population the fierce reputation that swims alongside them today. For who could ignore a respectable report about a whole cow being devoured in five minutes' time? Turns out, the locals decided to put on a bit of a show for Roosevelt. After extending a net across the river to capture the fish, they proceeded to keep them starving in a tank for a considerable time without food. Upon tossing the dead cow into the stream, the malnourished pack of piranhas consumed the large mammal within moments leaving only the picked-apart skeleton behind. A fish with the capability of eating a cow is mighty impressive. So, given that Roosevelt was widely read, the great myth of piranhas as a force to be feared quickly spread. Would you ever consider having a piranha as a pet? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.